Good evening, traders. Trader Tim from Emini Mind bringing you another Monday market analysis. Today's Monday, April 27th, 2015. In today's video, I want to talk about how we can get into a daily setup, meaning a bigger time frame entry, using a smaller time frame vehicle. So, a lot of times we start by looking at the daily chart and we see these big levels and uh, as you can see the most recent daily long we have here at 2100s uh, there's a few different ways to get into the setup getting in at a limit order of 2100 is one option waiting for a series of 15 minutes to break and then take the first 15 minute in the new trend so in this case waiting for 15 minute shorts to break and take the first 15 minute long at 2100 is another option uh, and really the third option is taking waiting for a series of 512 tick setup shorts to break and taking the first 512 tick setup long and using a tick chart using a smaller time frame chart allows you to get your entry closer to the actual bigger level while at the same time minimizing your risk or the risk that you're exposed to you know if you look at this 2100 the failure point is uh, <clears throat> 2095 so that's essentially a five point risk you, 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 you don't exactly know you're wrong until the 618 breaks, and in this case, you would need five points of wiggle room or five points between your entry and stop to have that confirmation. So, zooming into a 512 or even a 15 minute can really drastically close that gap between the 50 and the 618 and allow you to reduce your risk on the trade. So, we're going to back up a little bit to last week, and you can see here how. We traded off 2070s, and we have our target of 2121s. We also have our larger 2040s below us that have a target of 2150s above us up here. And uh, we made the, the new high today at 21.1975s on the ES, and I currently have all 24 hours worth of data showing. And we're going to look at this candle right here, where we traded into a smaller set up 2084s that then went to its target it's visible on the daily chart uh, it only took two days essentially to fill but rather than placing a blind limit order on a daily chart that you don't necessarily know if this setup is going to hold you have a lot of times setups that are visible one after another meaning we have a daily long entry to target it then retraces halfway back and we take the next uh, low to high entry to target and then we have a series going entry to target entry to target it's easy to just take the next setup in the trend and just do a blind limit order but in this case when you don't know if this setup is going to hold it's a lot more advantageous to zoom into a smaller time frame and see what's going on at this 2084 level so let's do that right now and you can see on the 15 minute chart we came down we got a little bit messy in here now this early price action was early in the morning last week and then the, the market opened right about here we sold off to the so we had our initial touch of the daily level early in the early in the morning we chopped around a little bit we got a bounce off that level but then when the market opened we retested it in the cash session so if we go to a 512 tick chart and the reason I use 512 is because it gives you enough data where you can see kind of the smaller points but you're not clouded with a whole bunch of noise so this is what we were just looking at on the 15 minute chart. You can see how we tested here. We ripped out a little bit and then the market opened and we sold off and we touched again that 2084 level. Well, if you put a blind limit out over here with a six tick stop, you get taken out. Uh, and so zooming into a 512 tick chart 
what we want to do is look for a break of the prior swing high. So if we were looking at shorts, in this case, if we were to draw from highs to lows, we can see that the 61.8 has broken. The short has failed. Now, we wouldn't take that short because we're at a daily long, but it's an identification that we are now uh, potentially in a new uptrend. We are breaking the series of shorts. In this case, there wasn't a whole lot uh, to back up on in terms of uh, a lot of little 512 shorts, but looking at the short that touches the daily long, we want to identify when it breaks, so we can see that we broke the 61.8. Then we want to have a break of the prior swing high. So in this case, we broke by one tick, but it was enough. Uh, you know, a one tick break is still a break. So what we can do is take the first long on the 512 tick chart, which 20, 85, uh, 75s, rounding up uh, to uh, 20, 86s and using that long as your entry. Now, the daily long is down here at 2085s, so you're getting in a point above the daily long, but look at how your risk is contained. Look at, you know, the the distance between the 50 and the 618 and the 512 tick chart is so much smaller, and you now have some confirmation that the trend is shifting. So then what you can do, you can, you know, place your entry with a 6 tick stop, 2086s with a 6 tick stop and then you can uh, go about this a couple of ways you can trail the next 512 oops, tick chart uh, the next 512 setup and so you have your stop uh, minus six ticks and then we go into the next pullback we trade off the next uh, 512 tick long halfway back you can move your stop underneath the next 618 so 2087s and then we break out and you'll notice this happens quite a bit we chop around our entry for you know the the most amount of time is spent right in the beginning of the trade kind of chopping around but then once we break away from our entry you know the trade is off and running and so if we can have a little patience up front to let the trade move in our favor once we're off and running all we have to do is manage our stop so now we really broke out of not only the negative 23 but the negative 618 so we can go and draw an extension and we come down here to the 50 we can trail our stop down here now at 2093s so we've entered just above the daily long in the morning we have our stop and then we trail our stop up as we start making uh, you know going in the direction of our trend and we're just trailing the 618 of the next setup in the trend the other option a little more conservative approach for a trail stop is to use the same anchor and just continuing to drag your your anchor to new highs and dragging your stop underneath the full halfway back. Now this leaves a lot more room for the market to pull back. What this can do is keep you in the trade if the market is going to do a bigger retracement and then rally. But as you can see with this example here, uh, keeping your stop a little bit more aggressive and trailing the extensions and then once we go from entry to target again, so we broke out of the traditional low to high. So we drew the extension, and then we went back into hitting entry to target. So we can go back to traditionals and continue to trail our stop. And uh, you know that basically takes us into the close with this setup. So using a daily entry... To tr as a way to get into a trade and then trail our stop throughout the day is a great way to get in at bigger levels, keep your risk small, and not necessarily be stuck holding positions overnight. So that's kind of how I use the 512 tick in conjunction with the daily chart. And this works, you know, really well across, <coughs> excuse me, all markets, uh, especially the euro, using the 512 tick entry at a big 15-minute level. 
So currently now, uh, bigger picture, the next setup, 2100s. We'll see if that holds. A little bit of selling today, but uh, we've got a lot of earnings announcements coming up. Apple just released earnings this afternoon. It was good earnings. Uh, Google released last week. Um, Netflix, so uh, let's see here. We'll just run through a few of them. Uh, we got Google and Apple announced this afternoon. Amazon gapped up. Uh, last week as well, Netflix, I believe, announced already. Yeah, they were about a week and a half ago. So we've got a lot more um, earnings coming up. Keep an eye on those. But some of the big names have already announced, and they've already shown uh, not only good profits, good earnings reports, but the market is backing it by gapping up and holding on big volume. So all signs are pointing for, to the market to lift higher. And as you can see, we have made new highs once again. So I'd look for those to continue. I would look for, whoops, I would look for the uh, markets to drift up towards this 2121s and then up to 2155s. So that's what I'm looking at on the ES. Thanks to all those who uh, provided feedback on the weekly videos. I'd like to try and t take as much of those uh, comments and suggestions into account as possible. So if you do have comments, uh, shoot me an email, tim at eminimind.com. I'd be happy to try to get some of those into the videos. And as always, you can find me on the eminimind blog at uh, eminimind.com, as well as Facebook and Twitter. So thanks for watching. We'll talk to you again soon.